Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and this is part 6 of the tutorials, and like I said in the last one, we will begin creating the forum today, uh, but I did forget one thing in the last tutorial. Uh, we forgot to d add the account error, so we have to create the error function. So I'm just going to create this at the end, function, error, and then error type. <clears throat> And we're going to type uh, if error type equals not logged in. I believe that's what we named it. Not logged in, yeah. Then we'll uh, echo. Sorry, we cannot. Sorry, you cannot perform this action when you are not logged in. So that's a pretty generic message. So like if they're trying to add a new post on the forum, then they'll get that message because they're not logged in and they can't do that. But later when we add permissions, if you want to let guests be able to do that, then that's perfectly fine, you know, and you can change that yourself. Uh but what I did go ahead and do was I create I didn't really do much, but I was just making sure it would look kind of okay. Uh, this is what it's going to look like after we're done doing whatever. This is forum.php that I just created without you guys. Um, <clears throat> I decided not to make the the uh, footer longer just because. And this is longer, obviously, and there's no uh, left uh, content display. So I'm going to refresh it, you know. So we're going to do it together. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to you're going to create the new forum so just copy your index and rename it to forum so you have forum and index they're going to look exactly the same for the most part and this is forum now and we're going to make some changes so first off we're going to delete the div uh, content left so div id equals content underscore left just delete that and we can delete this PHP stuff if code O2 and act login because we really don't need that for the forum. Oops. So now basically you have almost what you started with kind of in a way. And you're going to rename uh, div ID equals content to div ID equals content forum and save that and come to your styles.css uh, styles.css uh, file and copy your content the content um, class or ID and change width 688 to width uh, is going to be 908 that's going to make it the same length just about the same length as your top home link register login link so I'm going to refresh it and there you go it's there but there's nothing in it yet so it's not showing so we can add stuff to it now we'll add hello just so you see it and that does not look right content form we forgot to rename content we just forgot to rename this so content form change content to content form so you should have content and content form now if that makes sense okay so now that looks good so now we're gonna, what we're going to want to do is go into our uh, PHP my admin, so localhost slash PHP my admin. <clears throat> and go to tutorials or whatever you named your database. And we're going to be creating four new database tables for now. We might create uh, more later. But the first one we're going to make is f underscore cat. f just stands for forum, so we don't get confused with anything else. Uh, the number of fields, let's uh, decide. Okay, so we're going to have one for ID, the ID of the category. Uh, one for the category name. And one for permissions. Uh, permissions we'll do later, but so we're just gonna, that's all we're gonna have for now. Three fields. Uh, permissions like, you know, who can post on the category, in the category, and you know, that good stuff. First is gonna be ID, it's gonna be auto increment. Uh, the second will be the name, this is gonna be a varchar. 
and the length will be mm, 64. And the third one's going to be perms uh, for permissions. You can just leave it at end for now. We might change it later. I haven't decided how we're going to do permissions yet, but okay. What is this? Why is it showing me this? Okay, well, I guess we're just going to click on table fcat and see what it loads for you. Doesn't exist. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to recreate it. I don't know why I didn't create it. So it's going to be f underscore cat. Uh, we're going to have three. We'll click go. ID name perms varchar 64 this is going to be auto increment oh I probably click go instead of add so yeah click save I mean yeah if that makes sense okay so now that we have that we're going to create another uh, table this one's going to be f underscore subcat for subcategories uh, and that's going to have three fields as well, uh, ID, names, and perms. And later we can always add more if we need to. So ID, name, perms, varchar. This is going to be a varchar of 64, like the last one. Auto increment and perms is going to be int. Clicking save again. Okay, and then we're going to add another cat, uh, another table, and this is going to be f underscore replies for um, replies of the forum, you know, from topics and stuff. Okay, so uh, how many fields do we need for this one? We need the ID, the topic ID, so that's two, the um, user ID who said it, three, the message, and date. That's five. Um, and I think that's it for now. So I'm going to go, and like I said, we can always add more. If um, one of you guys, if you comment and I forgot to add it by then, you know, we can always change it up. Uh, so first one's going to be ID. Second one will be UID. Or no, yeah, UID. Third one is going to be TID. Um, fourth one's going to be message. And the fifth one will be date. So, once again for, you know, uh, showing when it was posted, like, what time. So the message is going to be uh, text. Yeah, it's going to be text. TID is int, UID is int, and ID is int. And it's going to be auto increment on the ID. And date is int. And I'm going to click save. And that's it for that. And the next uh, table we're going to be adding is F underscore topics. And this one's going to have F topics. This one's going to have ID, um, what subcat it's under, um, so that's two ID, subcat, and then title, title, and then message, and then message, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to think of this as I go. Uh, so that's four, so we'll add four for now. Well five because we have to add the username to the ID that posted it. So I'm going to click go. And I did remember one thing we had to add the subcat, which cat it's under, so CID. Um, but we'll do that in a minute. So ID, um, UID, message, and what was that other one? ID, UID, message, uh, date, and that last one was I'm not sure what the last one was oh yeah uh, SCID SCID is going to stand for subcat ID and yeah so I'm going to click save <clears throat> and then we're going to come to our subcat like I said I forgot we could add one there and it's going to be called uh, CID for IDs. Uh, so I'm going to come to the structure and I'm going to add one after ID, one field after ID, and it's going to be called CID. I'm just trying to keep them kind of organized. I know they'll become <laughs> unorganized later, but oh well. So 
I'm going to save that. And now we have the, you know, pretty basic structure for a uh, forum posting system. So, you know, you can create a category and a subcategory and then make a post and reply to the post. So that's pretty simple, um, pretty basic for now. Uh, now we need to start creating what the forum looks like. And before I forget, uh, we're going to we're going to move the header from forum and index.php just so we won't have to later. Uh, we're going to move the entire header at, even after body um, from where we have the bar nav, that last div. We're going to get rid of that and we're going to put that on a its own file. So we're going to create a new file and it's going to be called header.php just so it's easier for us to you know edit the content of the header and of the forum so I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna come up here PHP I'm gonna include header.php oh I'm gonna put quotes around it I'm gonna copy this and do the same thing for index.php yeah, do the same thing for index.php. So once again, after after the bar nav and div. And then save that. And then let's refresh it and hope it works. It should work. It should look exactly the same. Perfect. And where am I going? Oh yeah. Uh we're also gonna do the same thing for the end. Uh just to you know, make it easier for bar bottom. So at bar bottom delete that and create a new file called foot or dot PHP. Open it on up, paste it in, save it. I'm gonna close the footer because we're not really gonna edit that much. PHP include footer.php I'm going to copy this, save it, and go to my forum and paste that in. Perfect. Save it. Come refresh. And it looks wrong. Well, it doesn't look wrong because, you know, failed opening footer.php Did I name it wrong? Oh yeah, I put footer.ph. Oops. Okay, and also we can delete this div bar. So I'm going to save it, refresh, refresh. Looks good. Looks good. Perfect. Okay, so that's exactly what we want it to look like and do. Okay, so I'm going to stop the tutorial here. Um, in the next one, we'll begin. Uh, creating functions to add a new topic and a new reply. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And by rate, I mean thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm, I'm used to saying rate, though. Bye.